Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hello Dave. Let's dive right into this week's news. Of course, now we finally got access to the new Pulse Wave Asino scanner that has been added into the game that allows us to more easily identify um, points of interest on the Thargoid Titans. Now these were of course added by accident last week, but now they are actually fully available in the game. And I'm very pleased to announce that these are a buy for money module and not one of those, you know, where you have to pay for materials every time you get one. It seems to that's been the direction Frontier wanted to go with all the modules, that we have to go and do these grinds in order to get every single module. If you wanted two of them, it was twice to grind. Happy to see that they're just saying now it's just for money and it's like 800,000 or something, not too bad. So that's really nice to see. Wish that's something we would see a lot more of in the future. Also in Elite Dangerous, update 1502 came in um, as a bit of a surprise. It was announced on Friday and um, I'm actually recording this Monday. So for once I can actually see the patch notes <laughs> when they're out. It's mostly bug fixes. Um, it's it's a smaller patch. The only one that really like stood out to me was the fact that they say that they have a fix for this unintended change to the flight mechanics of uh, flight characteristics of the ship um, when rotational correction was added. A lot of you guys will know um, that if you are flying a ship and you have rotational corrections enabled, a ship would have a tendency to drift a lot more than it otherwise would. So if you have these ships that drifts a lot, sometimes you can just disable rotational correction and it would behave um, a lot better. That should now be fixed with update um, 1502. That's a really nice change and I think it's going to help especially if you fly these um, heavier um, combat ships like Cutter for instance is a, is, a, is a great ship that's always been drifting a lot and you can improve it. Previously you can improve it a lot by, re uh, by reducing or removing rotational correction but now it doesn't matter whether you have it on and off it should have the same flight characteristics. So that's a really nice change that um, they added. Now moving over to No Man's Sky, um, they have announced that No Man's Sky is coming to Mac. So for all you Mac gamers out there, there's some good news. You can now play No Man's Sky natively through Steam. Um, there's full cross-play support, so I mean, we would expect that. They already have it with, with console and stuff, so you can play regardless of what platform you play on. You can play together with others. Um, even cross-saves is enabled, so if you play through Steam and you have the cloud saving enabled through Steam, then you can just go and 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 jump over on your Mac PC and continue playing, and then jump over on your on your Windows PC and play there. So that's super nice controller support. You get all the updates. It's full up to date with with what's um, what's current in the game. So that's really nice to see um, that No Man's Sky is expanding its player base. I have two more topics I want to talk about. Um, usually I have the live stream at the end of the um, of the news segments. Um, but I'm gonna push it up now because um, that'll make sense. So I'm just gonna talk about live streams and then I have one final topic that I need to talk about. The live stream tomorrow is going to be exploration in Elite. I'm getting a little burned out with all the Thargoid stuff, so I wanna go and do something something else. So let's get back out into black, let's go and do some exploration, let's go and find some pretty places or some interesting places and go and have a look at. I should be getting pretty close to that um, supernova remnant that I was heading towards, so hopefully with a bit of luck, um, we are going to make it to uh, to that destination in the live stream tomorrow. But we'll see. Um, as always, it's going to be on YouTube, on Twitch, and it's going to be at 7 o'clock GMT. Now, for the final topic of um, of the video today, I have a bit of a, a sad news. A lot of you guys will, of course, remember Commander Plater, who back in the day used to be a very active um, YouTuber and content creator for Elite Dangerous. Uh, he stopped making content after he got diagnosed with uh, with cancer and has been been fighting that thing for years. Um, and unfortunately, last week uh, he lost that battle, and um, and Plato is no longer with us. I've done a number of live streams with him through the through the time, and we also sometimes talked um, like off camera uh, behind the um, like on Discord messages back and forth, that kind of thing. So it's kind of it's, it's I think it's sad to to see Plato leave and um, I'm really sorry for the family. It must be must be terrible and you have my uh, my condolence. So as one last farewell to Plato, I'm gonna leave the last two minutes of this video empty, um, and I hope that you will sit through and wait those last two minutes of black and silence um, as we remember Commander Plato. One final goodbye, player. Fly safe.